Okay, so this is how I do it. I put my piece of glass over my picture. Now I have patinaed and cleaned this very well. I use whiting powder on it, um, so there's no residue on the glass, so um, the enamel paint can go on there and, and, and seal on there nicely. So, and these are just little micro brushes that I get at the craft store. And the nice thing about the enamel paint is that if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You can come back and fix it when it dries. You can scrape it off. I have a little wooden pick that I use. So there's one. And I do it on the light table because you can see it really well, the picture underneath my glass. And I'll probably do a couple layers of this black so that you can't see any light through it when it dries. And then for the nose, I'm going to use um, a little bit, actually I'll leave that like that. I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller brush. And the nose is so small I can't see it under there, so I'm going to move it and just copy it as best that I can. And that's it. That's how I do it. And then I'll go ahead and let this dry. Do another coat. Let it dry again. And tomorrow I'll go ahead and attach it to my garland. Okay, so now that it's dried, I want to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. So I'm taking my little wooden pick and I'm just scraping off the edge of the paint just to give it a finished look and kind of shape it a little more to the way that I want it to be. And that's the nice thing about the enamel paint. And the longer it sits, the harder it gets. And I haven't had any complaints from anybody about it chipping off or anything like that. Um, I've, I use it in a lot of my projects. It's the Testers Enamel Paint and um, you can get that at the hobby store. So I'm just gonna sit here and do this and uh, put a little music on and I'll show you guys the finished product.